Psalms 56, verse 8. Thou tellest my wanderings, put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? That is God. Put my tears. Everybody has tears. Genesis 3, first spoken of sorrow. We imagine the first time that Eve cried. She cried in childbirth. Maybe they cried when, when God pronounced the judgment upon them. She cried when she got the news that one son was dead. And the other son would turn to a vagabond. You imagine David crying when he was anointed king and on the run. And the tears of David when proclaimed to him his sin of adultery and murder. The tears of remorse, the tears of repentance. And then there's the crocodile tears, tears of just, you know, I'll get out of trouble. Even Mary, the mother of Jesus, cried during her pregnancy and the birth of Jesus. In life, tears come in our mothers while they're carrying us. And tears come in the pain of agony when they go to deliver us. And then there's tears of joy that we have been brought into this world. And yet for some, there's been tears of a stillborn. Tears of a pregnancy that did not follow through. And there's the tears of your child has been born. And then the child begins to cry. And that child will cry in the middle of the night for fear. He'll cry because no reason to cry. He'll cry because its diaper is full. It's hungry. It's dark. There are more tears inside of a hospital, an emergency room, than there are tears in a church. There are even more tears in a funeral. No more tears of the body that has died, but there'll be tears at the funeral and as that casket's laid into the ground. There are tears when you get a shot for the measles, for the mumps, for the tetanus. There are tears when you go to the doctor for pain, suffering. And there are tears when the doctor says it's not cancer. You're pregnant. You're healed. There are tears for a birth certificate, and there are tears for a death certificate. There are tears of joy when you get your driver's license, and there is tears that you lost your driver's license. There has been tears in the skies of airplanes. I can even imagine that there are tears on the International Space Station of loneliness. And missing out on the family. There have been tears for vehicles that have tires. And there have been tears on ships on oceans. And there have been tears inside of submarines under the waters. There have been tears on land and tears in the air. And there have been tears on and under the water. There are tears of a mother and a wife. And there are tears of a father and a husband. And there are tears of the children. There are the tears of the very young and the very old. And there is crying for the very rich. And there's crying for the very poor. 
Someone has come to know Jesus Christ as their Savior. True tears of repentance and getting right with God. And even Jesus Christ, our God, our Savior, wept at a funeral of a loved one. He wept over the city of Jerusalem for the destruction that would come. The Bible says often he would go off and pray alone. And you can't tell me that when he'd go off and pray that he would not have tears to the Father. Peter wept when Jesus turned after he denied him three times. And you can imagine Jesus standing there weeping too because Peter, one of his best three friends, though Jesus knew it, turned and denied him. There's tears when you get your fingers stuck in the door. There's tears over a letter. There are tears over photographs and memories. There are good tears. There are bad tears. There are evil tears. There's tears of the, of the wedding party at a wedding of joy. And there are tears of the parents at a wedding party. We're losing our child. At the same place where a wedding happens of tears. It's also the same place of funerals have taken place. There are tears of military involvement. Your child's going off into the military. Whatever branch it be. And your child's out in the, out in the military. He's out on the ship. He's out in the foxholes. He's out in the battlefield. He's crying. And mama's crying. How many times has mom on her knees, praying for her children before God the Father and Jesus. Tears all over the world. Regardless of what color, what sex, and what creed you are, there are tears. There are tears that are written in Fox's Book of Martyrs of the Catholic Church that has slain children of God for the Bible. And are against their heresy. There have been tears of Islam. If you don't convert, we're going to cut off your neck. And think about all the veils of tears of the nation of the children of Israel. When Assyria comes and took Israel north. When Babylon came three times. And destroyed Jerusalem, carried them off. Think about the tears of Daniel being carried away. And there, open up his window three times a day, looking towards Jerusalem and praying. He's crying. He's homesick. Praying as Jesus prayed over Jerusalem that in 70 AD, Jerusalem again would be sacked. There was joy and crying ne Ezra and Nehemiah. We're happy to see the temples built. And we are sadness because we remember the old temple. There's tears of goodbye. There are tears of hello. You cry yourself to sleep. And you're crying yourself awake. Tears of, of the first love that's been broken as a young child. There are tears in a bedroom. Tears in a motel room. Tell us my wanderings. Put, Put thou my tears into a bottle. How many bottles? Do the bottles get bigger? Or does God get a new bottle for a new tearful event? How many bottles are there? And as a Christian, our tears will probably end up at the judgment seat of Christ. What do we cry for? Who did we cry for? 
There's the tears of a person that goes out and has a public ministry for lost people. And sometimes those tears are not in the eyes, they're in the heart. Oh, I, I know what's going to happen to you. I know where you're going to go. Will you repent and believe on Jesus? As they scorn. And your heart earns. And your desire. And the Bible says later in the book of Revelation, God shall wipe away our tears. But there'll be tears at the great white throne judgment. Tears from people to say, that Jesus will say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Oh, Lord. Mercy. No. And there'll be tears from Christians as our mothers, our fathers, our brothers, our sisters, our loved ones go off into the lake of fire that burneth forever. Those tears are not wiped away to after. And at the great white throne judgment, our family and our friend members look at some Christians and say, Why didn't you tell me about Jesus? And you'll be there in tears because you didn't want to tell them. You were afraid to tell them. As God casts them off forever in a lake of fire, and you'll be departing from them for all eternity. Only after does God wipe away our tears. You gotta, I gotta wonder the time that maybe the first tears. I don't know that when when God brought Eve to Adam, and tears of joy. Thank you, Lord. Or maybe the tears didn't come to Genesis three. There's tears of hope, and then there's tears of hopelessness. All the wars that this planet Earth has since. Genesis 13, I believe it was. All the mothers, all the sons, all the children to war. Cities were bombed. Cities were destroyed. World War II. Think about the Jews again with the entire Holocaust. As they were slaughtered. Think about the tears. There's a picture out there with a wall with the nails driven to that concrete wall then trying to escape. You know there was tears. There's a tear of a, of a mother and wife with her children right now. Her husband's left her. There are tears. Uh, there's no food. There's no water. Grandma's sick. She's dying. I've got the COVID. And it don't look good. Doctor, tell me, what's the test say? It is terminal cancer is stage four. I know the cancer doctor, he, was, he, he cry often. Nurses and doctors and preachers and pastors and priests and rabbi tears there are prayers to stop tears there are prayers of tears god our father jesus christ wept david countless times definitely a man of tears and excitement Think about John being put on the island Patmos. He was put into boiling liquid and then put off to the island all by himself before the Lord came and showed in the book of Revelation he would be probably in tears. Paul says, I sought the Lord for the thorn in my flesh. Tears. Oh, my Jewish brethren, my Jewish people, they hate me. Tears. All oh, the churches and the Christians that I started and I set for and they churned on me. Have I become your enemy? Tears. All oh, this church is going back into the law. This church is going sour. This church is going carnal. Tears. 
Luke, Timothy's stomach is suffering. He's in pain. He's my son in the pain. Tears. Being stoned to death. And then coming back to this miserable rotten planet. Tears. My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Tears. Oh, Father, if this cup would pass. Tears. Tears. From Adam and Eve to the last human being to the great white throne judgment. Naming the leper. That little servant girl who lost her family is the servant to name his wife in tears. But, oh, there would be a prophet. You would be here to heal this leprosy. And then the lepers, according to the law, if you have leprosy, you would be put out the city gate. You would have to go unclean, unclean tears. I'm alone. Tears. So tell us my wandering, put thou my tears in the bottle. Are they not in thy book? God records tears. God don't care. Yes, he does. David says he records. Tears. It's funny, I'm looking right now. The first time tears shows up in the Bible as far as crying. 2 Kings 20, verse 5. Turn again and tell Hezekiah, the captain of my people, thus saith the Lord of God, David thy father. I have heard thy prayer. I have seen thy tears. Lord, I don't want to die yet. Or is there anything we can do? I got a wife and children. I'm in prayers. And Esther, 8.3, And Esther spake yet again before the king, her husband, and fell down at his feet and besought him with tears to put away the mischief that Haman had got. Haman is a great type of antichrist. Imagine the tears of the children of Israel. Imagine the tears in the tribulation period. At one point in time, they are hit by the scorpion tail. And whether it be three or six months, they're going to be in such agony. Lord, we want to die and there's no death. And the guillotines are falling upon the head. Imagine God with his own people, his bride. Over the years that Israel has failed God. Tears. Tears are in an ambulance. Tears are in the back of a police car, in a police car. Tears have been from a shooting. Inside schools. Tears are everywhere. Tears are a result when God said, The day thou shalt eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And Eve lusted of the flesh, lusted of the eyes, and the pride of life took that fruit and ate it, and Adam with her, and long came with tears. Where's my son Abel? Cain killed him. And Cain ain't coming home. Imagine for Eve, the first woman to give birth to the first child, screaming out, at, what is this pain? Tears! Because you disobeyed the word of God. A mother's tear of a child that never repented and got right and has died and gone into hell. Tears of a husband who a pain of his wife 
and, and, and agony of his wife and in dis disease and distress. And there's nothing you can do. There are peer tears in a hospital bed. And there are tears on the side of a hospital bed. There are tears in a letter, tears in a greeting card, tears on the phone, tears on a computer screen. Tears. When you open up, get your paycheck, and in it is a pink slip. You see an accident, there are tears. There are tears everywhere. There are tears of a married and tears of a widow, tears of a single. When you fill out your IRS, you know, you're single, you marry, follow jointly, or you're a widower, with those come tears. Tears of in all 50 states of, the, of America and all counties and all regions of the world. The earth is covered more with water than it is land. And I wonder if you were to add to tears the wetness from the eyes of human beings. How much land would be left if we were to add the water of tears to the oceans? Even animals cry. When their master leaves their house and they're howling and they're crying. And when their master comes home, there are tears of starvation. I'm, I'm hungry and there's no food. And there have been tears in battleships and tanks and foxholes. I can imagine there's even tears in the spaceships. There's been tears in bunkers, tornado cellars, hurricane shelters. <clears throat> Moment 911, what's your emergency? Tears. Laying down. You would think to sleep, sometimes it's not sleep, it's tears. Pillows getting getting filled with tears. One of the purposes of Kleenex and handkerchiefs is because of tears. Birth and death. Celebration. Birthdays. Anniversities, graduations, failure, success. Tears. Thou tellest my wandering, put thou my tears into thy bottle. How many gallons of tears does the average sinner? How many gallons is, is, is in the reserves of God in heaven, of his children? You would think that the tears would put the flames out at the judgment seat of Christ, and yet some tears would brighten the, the, the fire even more. Because not all tears are holy and right. And some tears are not going to put that fire out, but some of those tears are going to produce gold, silver, and precious stones. I cried the day I got saved. I cried the day my grandma died. I still cry over my wife. I've cried in pain. I've cried being wheeled off to, to surgery. 
I've cried in great pain with, with, my, with my ear infections I've had. When I injured my tailbone, I had one point, I was just in tears. Nothing could relieve the pain. And I cried at the, at the birth of my children. And I know there are people out there who have had to cry for the death of their children. And parents. And grandparents. And siblings. Anger. Frustration. Anxiety. Pain and suffering. And happiness and joy and good news and bad news. That tree of the knowledge of good, good tears and evil, evil tears. Even God, I said, pray, Jesus wept. Simple as Bible verse to know in the Bible. Great men like David wept. Great men like Paul wept. Though the Bible don't record their tears, you know they wept. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John wept. James, Peter, and John wept. Habakkuk, Esther, Job, Job. Man, Job. His children are killed. And then his wife cursed God. And then those three idiotic friends. I wouldn't even think that Satan cries. The evil, wicked being, Satan. I don't even think he cries. God did. Jesus wept. How about the book of Judges? Tears, lamentations. Jeremiah, the weeping prophet. And we even read that Isaiah is recorded to weep. Noah gets in with, with his wife and his sons and their daughter, their, their wives. Eight people. No one else gets in that ark. Don't tell me there wasn't tears. Lot. Bible says, remember Lot's wife. She had tears. Oh, my great city. Oh, my, my living room set. Oh, my other daughters. Let me turn around. And then Lot's daughters. Yeah, we know about the sin of Lot's daughter. Oh, think about Lot's daughter. Dad, we're here. Where's mama? She ain't coming. She looked back. Don't tell me there wasn't tears. Don't tell me there wasn't tears when 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 Abraham and Lot Lot says, I'll take that. And Abraham loved Lot. And Lot says, Goodbye, Abram. Don't tell me there wasn't tears. Don't tell me Leah didn't have tears and the Bible records that she loved Jacob and Jacob hated her. Don't tell me she didn't cry at night. Then Rachel, don't tell me she didn't have tears. The Bible says that her womb was shut by God. The great woman of Shinnah. I took care of that prophet, Lord, what did you do? You killed my son. Jesus is going through through, through Israel, and, and they're carrying a beard, the coffin of a woman's son, a widow woman's son. This is a long one today, I'm sorry. Thou tellest my wanderings, put thou my tears in the bottle, are they not in thy book? Aaron, what happened to Nahub and Abihu? And I can't cry, I can't weep over my children because I've got the consecration on me. Ezekiel, your wife, I'm going to kill the, with a stroke. Don't you dare cry. That, it's impossible for me. That's impossible. 
and God records for Ezekiel the, the desire of thy eyes. She was beautiful. She was his wife. I'm going to kill her. Don't you dare cry. God, what is wrong with you? It wasn't God that brought the tears. It was a man and a woman that disobeyed the word of God. Can you imagine God after Genesis chapter 3 turning away from Adam and Eve? Oh, what did they do? There's no tears in hell. Oh, he just said, Lad, a drop of water, it will cool my tongue. Why don't you get a drop of water from your eyes? There is no drop of water in your eyes in hell. How else I take it and put it on my tongue? All the deaths from Babylon, all the deaths under Titus 70 AD to tears. World War One, World War Two, the bombing of the of the Japanese upon Pearl Harbor, the attacking of Hiroshima, D-Day, Normandy. Yeah, okay, Germany was our enemy. Yes, they are. What about all the German mothers crying for their German sons? And all the English mothers crying for their English sons. And all the American women praying for their American sons. And there's flooding. And there's earthquakes. And there's tornadoes. And there's hurricanes. And there's starvation. There's drought. The black death that went through Europe in the Middle Ages, death, pain, and sorrow. Great men. I hear somewhere, you know, men, you know, men don't cry. Uh, then I'm not a man. I've cried. I still cry. I remember the agony and the tears and the scream that my wife had the miscarriage. I've been in hospitals enough to hear the tears and crying. We go to the farmer's market here and we preach the gospel and every afternoon when we are on our way home, we pass by a cemetery and every afternoon there's a funeral. And yet that, fu that, that graveyard doesn't get full. But every week there's a funeral. Tears. Right behind that, that cemetery is a hospital. Tears. Between that cemetery and the hospital, there's a college, and there have been tears. I got my diploma. There's tears. Oh, this is a hard test. Tears. Oh, what am I going to do for a career? You don't know what that next phone call is going to be. You don't know what that letter is going to be. I can't pay my bills. There were tears in the depression of America. There are children today, there are tears because they have and never know who their father will be. Right now, someone's crying. Right now. Whatever time I'm doing this and whatever time you're hearing this, somebody's crying right now. Somebody's happy and joyful. Somebody's terrible and misery. There's a baby being born. Celebration. It's a girl. It's a boy. And someone has died. We read in the same newspaper, birth announcements, and we read the obituaries. 
We got to move. We got to pick up and move to a new location. I had never done with this message. Thou tellest my wonderings. Put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? When we're in New Jerusalem as Christians, one day God will wipe away our tears. 